is going on guys Harkers Pro here now iOS 8 has just been released and I thought I would bring you a quick video outlining the features in which iOS 8 comes with so starting off we do have HealthKit now HealthKit is an alternative to Samsung's S Health and it will feature uh, stuff like burning off your calories how much calories you've burned your sleeping hours stuff like that so it's basically just an health app following this we do have brand new updated camera features will, which will include a new time lapse mode Next we do have a new feature called handoff which is able to remotely uh, connect your iPhone or your iPad to your Mac vice versa so you will get all the photos stored from your um, iPhone onto your Mac and yeah and you also will be able to SMS, SMS people from your Mac or call people from your Mac which is really cool. Apple have finally decided to update the notification so now you are able to reply to a notification without actually leaving the application you're in. So if you do get a text message you will be able to quick reply to that just from the top. They have also added new multitasking features so when you do double click the home button and go into multitasking you will get a little bar above um, all your app pages which will have little faces of your most recent contacts as well as the uh, most popular contacts you do talk to. So this will give you the option to text or call them straight from multitasking. Now Spotlight Search has been updated and you're now able to search in the App Store or Wikipedia, even look for local restaurants in the area just from the Spotlight bar. So by holding your finger in the centre of the screen and sliding down, you will pull up the Spotlight Search bar and you will be able to search for all this new stuff. Finally, Apple have announced they will be improving the keyboard. So from the stock iOS 7 keyboard, you will now have a bar above the keyboard which will be able to predict and recommend words based on the ways you type and what you say to people. So this will pick up what you say in text messaging or social media and stuff like that and it will suggest words for you and yeah that's basically all it is which is pretty good. They will also be adding a new feature called swipe which is basically what it is, what, what Android is. You'll be able to swipe from letter to letter on your keyboard and it will try and guess the word approximately. Now Apple have updated iMessages and you will be able to send videos and also your voice and it can and you can choose to um, self-destruct it much like Snapchat so I guess this is like a quick bit attempt to copy Snapchat and try and get people to use iMessage. It is pretty good but it's not really the best. You will also be able to finally mute conversations on iMessage so it kind of just stops you from receiving all the spam if you're in a group combo or something like that which is pretty good. Siri has also been updated. You are now able to say hey Siri or something like that without having to hold the home button which is pretty good. So if you have a broken home button all you have to do is say hey Siri and Siri will pop up. They have also added more extension to Siri, extensions to Siri like uh, enabling in-app purchases so you will be able to purchase stuff from Siri as well as being able to Shazam songs straight from Siri which is amazing. Widgets have now been added to iOS 8 these aren't like the normal widgets on android but it is similar so you will from so from the top sliding down from the notification bar within that you will get widgets so if you had ebay open or something like that and you were watching an item you'll be now you'll now be able to place a bid straight from the notification bar without opening the application which is pretty unique and handy now unfortunately these widgets will not be available on the home screen like android but it is a good start for apple now in iOS 8, third party applications will be able to use the Touch ID sensor to log in and stuff like that. So this means that third party applications like games or your bank app or something like that, they will now be able to let you log in using your fingerprints on your iPhone 5S via the fingerprint scanner. Now these fingerprints will not be stored on the cloud, they will still be stored on your device so it's still pretty secure. Now Apple have released a brand new uh, kind of engine called Metal, now this is designed to help establish and enhance and improve gaming on iOS devices for iOS 8. And now finally, just letting all you iPhone 4 users know that iOS 8 is not available on, on iPhone 4s. So even though you have iOS 7, you won't be able to get iOS 8. Now I wouldn't still recommend updating to iOS 7 if you do have an iPhone 4 because I've had one and it isn't a good experience. It's really lagging, it's really slow and it's just not worth it. Just stick with iOS 6. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the top um, iOS 8 features for 2014. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, enjoy.